Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist on the Tosca interview questions. So we have been discussing many interview questions and let's move on to our next question, which is the fifth question in this particular series. So uh, this particular question uh, talks about uh, what was your roles and responsibilities uh, in your test automation project where you have used Tosca. So considering uh, the importance of this question, this could be the first question uh, in any interview which you face, uh, be it in Tosca or uh, any other automation tool. So while uh, answering your question, uh, you should mention about your overall automation experience, uh, how you have uh, implemented your skills uh, in your automation project, uh, and also try to demonstrate uh, your uh, expertise in using Tosca and different features of Tosca for test automation within your project. So uh, make sure that you cover all these aspects when you are trying to answer this particular question. Also, while answering this particular question, uh, you could take help of these particular points. So try to make use of these points when you are trying to form your answer. So first, uh, you can provide a brief overview of uh, what was your role uh, in the test automation project, uh, which was using Tosca. Uh, what were uh, your responsibilities? Um, now, it depends um, on whether you were a complete beginner or you were an experienced automation tester or you were uh, leading a team uh, of uh, Tosca testers. So highlight the specifics um, of uh, what was your role uh, within the team. Next, uh, talk about the specific tasks which you have performed uh, while working on this project and what were your uh, contributions uh, towards um, the complete project. Then talk about uh, the experience uh, which you have uh, with Tosca and also the specific uh, skills or the specific features of Tosca which you have already worked on. You can mention about uh, distributed execution, you can mention about CICD, uh, you can mention about the Tosca features like uh, the data integrity or um, something else, right? So try to highlight as many uh, features which you have worked uh, on while working with uh, Tosca in uh, your previous projects. Then uh, talk about uh, the collaboration uh, which uh, you have done while working on this project. So how you have collaborated with the development team or uh, the business analyst team uh, to understand the requirements um, and then implement different uh, automation uh, to cover all those requirements. Also highlight how your efforts uh, led to uh, meeting the project goals and releases which helped the team significantly. Then finally, you can talk about uh, any ongoing trainings uh, or support which you have provided to your fellow team members or uh, other members of the team. Uh, also talk about any certifications which you have completed. And then you can also talk about any particular professional certifications or uh, Tosca certifications which you have completed, which might be essential uh, for your new role. So let's look at a sample answer, which uh, could be very specific to this question. Uh, you can tailor it according to your uh, experience and skills. So you can start your answer. Like uh, as an automation tester, I was responsible for designing, developing, uh, maintaining uh, and executing test cases using Tosca to ensure the quality and reliability of our applications in every release. Now, after this, uh, you can go into the details of every point which uh, we mentioned earlier. So you can start about how you created and maintained uh, different test scripts uh, when you're working on this project. So you can mention that uh, I designed and developed automated test cases uh, using Tosca Commander, uh, which included both functional and non-functional test cases. Uh, I was also involved uh, in maintaining the existing uh, test cases uh, in the process. I also developed a lot of uh, reusable uh, test step libraries. Um, and uh, I also made sure uh, that uh, we are following the best practices when we were developing or maintaining these test cases. Then you can mention um, your contribution uh, on the framework development. So you can see that I was involved in a setting up and enhancing the test automation framework with Tosca. This also included uh, integrating Tosca uh, with the CI/CD pipelines uh, using Jenkins uh, and also setting up the distributed execution environment uh, to make our tests uh, run faster. And also uh, we could save time by running them on different text agents. 
So this was a sample answer, but you could include a lot of other details um, or other features which you included while working with Tosca. Then you can talk about uh, the test execution and reporting. Uh, so you can see that uh, I was involved uh, in executing uh, different test cases uh, locally and over uh, distributed execution, and also analyzed the results uh, to find defects. I also generated comprehensive test reports uh, and dashboards uh, and shared my findings with uh, developers and other team members so that all the defects could be uh, resolved uh, during the releases. Then you can talk about the team collaboration. So here you can mention I work closely with the developers and business analysts to understand uh, the requirements and also identify uh, the required test scenarios. Then I also participated uh, in regular uh, sprint meetings and uh, the review meetings to align the testing efforts uh, with the project goals. So then you can mention about uh, training and support. So here you can mention that I provided training and support to other team members and stakeholders on uh, different Tosca best practices and uh, new features so that uh, we can make sure that our uh, test automation is efficient and also uh, the results are consistent to ensure high quality releases. So finally, uh, you can end your answer with a closing statement where uh, you can mention that I have automated uh, more than 60% of the regression test cases, which not only reduced uh, the testing cycle, but, but also improved the release frequency. So these are all the points uh, which you can mention uh, in your answer. Obviously, as I said, you need to tailor this particular answer according to your experience uh, and skills. So while answering this particular question, keep all these points in mind uh, and also think about what was your role uh, in the automation project, what contributions you made and how it helped the automation team to make the automation more resilient, uh, faster and also efficient. So that's all for this particular interview question. Uh, as always, thanks for listening to me. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any feedback, then please leave it in the comments. Uh, if you want uh, to share any interview questions with me, then uh, please do so. I will soon be back with uh, another interesting uh, real-time interview question. Until then, keep watching uh, and keep learning.